Welcome to this channel. In this particular tutorial, we will design a 4-bit synchronous up counter with a active high and a synchronous reset. So we would be using a model sim tool in order to simulate this counter design Verilog program. Before going into this channel, I request you to like, share and subscribe to my channel below for more such videos. Now before writing the 4-bit synchronous up counter Verilog program, we have to create a work library. Please check my previous model sim tutorial how to create this work library. Now click on project tab and right click. Click on add to project and click on new file. Now we have to define the counter name and the file type. So select the file type as Verilog since we are writing the Verilog code. Now define the name as first underscore counter and click OK. Now you can see that there is a file name called as first underscore counter. Now Now a new window appears. In this particular window, we have to type our Verilog code. So in this particular example, we are working on 4-bit synchronous up counter. So a good habit of any programming is that we have to uh, mention the comment lines. So this would help us to uh, understand that what we are actually trying to do. So I would define the design name as counter and the file name as first underscore counter dot v. Now the first thing is that we have to define the module. So in this particular tutorial the module is first underscore counter and then we have to define the various input and the output for this particular counter design. So type module first underscore counter and open a bracket and define the clock, define the reset, define the enable and then define the counter output as shown in this particular tutorial. Once we define the clock input, the reset, the enable and the 4-bit output vector of the counter we have to end this particular post list by closing the bracket and putting the semicolon. Now next we have to define the various input ports and the output port for this counter design. So define the clock, the reset, the enable as the input ports and define the counter out as the output port. So how to define this particular input port? Define input clock semicolon, define input reset semicolon, define input enable semicolon. Define the counter out as shown in this particular tutorial. Now we have we must also define the input port data type and the input port must be 
defined as wire and the output port data type which is a storage element so it can be a reg or a wire so define the wire clock semicolon wire reset semicolon wire enable semicolon and then for the output port data type define this as reg and then the count out Now the actual code for the counter starts from this particular section. So since this counter is a positive edge trigger, we trigger the below block with respect to positive edge of the clock. So write the following syntax always at the rate pause edge clock and then begin the counter. So at every rising edge of clock, we check if reset is active. So if the reset is active, we load the counter output with 4 bit 0000. Now, if the enable is active, then we increment the counter. So define the particular syntax else if enable equal to equal to one bit, then begin the counter out, which is less than or equal to define the following syntax that is counter underscore out plus one semicolon and end this particular counter block with the end syntax and in order to end the counter module we have to define end module. Now for any complex digital circuit, this must be tested. So for this particular counter design, we 
must provide a clock a reset logic once counter is out of reset we toggle the enable input to counter and then we check the waveform if this particular counter is working or not so we have to write a test bench which consists of a clock generator a reset control and an enable control and a compare logic now right click and click on add project and select the new file now we have to write a counter test bench so select the file type as verilog now define the file name as first underscore counter underscore tb which is test bench and select the add file type as verilog and click ok now double click on this particular counter test bench or right click and click on edit now this particular window appears now i have already defined my counter test bench so you can refer to this particular test bench now in this particular counter test bench the first and the foremost thing is that we must include the first underscore counter dot v program and then we have to define the module and then declare the input as reg and the output as a wire and define the clock reset enable as the reg and the counter output as the wire now we have to define the display and the monitor Initially, we define the value of the clock and then the initial value of reset and the initial value of enable. So all this has been defined and then we assert the reset and we deassert the reset and then we assert the enable and then we deassert the enable and then we terminate the simulation now we have to compile this particular program so right click click on compile and select the compile selected now in case if this particular compilation is successful we get a tick mark so you can see that the compile of first underscore counter was successful similarly we have to compile our test bench so right click click on compile select the compile selected and then we also get that first underscore counter underscore db dot v was successful so now the compilation has been done and you can see in the work library we have both the first counter and the test bench of the counter. Now right click on first underscore counter test bench and click on simulate. Now the waveform window appears. Go back to the simulation window and right click on add wave. Go to the waveform window and now run this particular simulation now you can see the 4 bit asynchronous counter output now we can zoom out and see the particular output of the counter Now 
let us make few changes in our counter test bench so right click and click on edit now let us define that the enable will be hash 180 enable equal to 0 so when uh, at 180 picosecond the enable will fall 0 let us compile this particular test bench so go back to the work library right click and click on simulate now the sim window appears and right click on first underscore counter tp and click on add wave now go back to the wave window where we have to run our simulation now run this particular simulation now run this particular simulation and you can zoom in and see the value of the counter so click on the waveform window and zoom in so when you zoom in you can see at enable when it is around 200 picosecond we deassert this particular enable and the counter will be in 0010 state thank you for watching this tutorial i hope this has helped your learning purpose I request you to like share and subscribe my channel below